guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to try to make my third attempt tonight to film this. My first attempt, um, the beeping from my dryer was going off so I'm like oh dang I totally forgot. So I shut it down, turned that off and came back and was in the middle of uh, taping this for the second time and my pager goes off for a fire call. So in case anybody on my channel doesn't know I am an on-call volunteer firefighter for my local fire department. So anyway pager went off and I blew out the candles and ran out. And as you can see, I blew out the candles, gone for a little bit. So they did have a really good wax, uh, wax pool. And I'm just uh, wanting to get to bed here. So trying to film this for you. So basically, I'm coming to you guys all today with my absolute last summertime bath and body works candle. And I've decided to put a little photograph that I took a couple of years ago of, um, it's a location a few hours north of myself where I live, it's called Tofino, or Long Beach, up on Vancouver Island, British Columbia. So I thought I'd pay a little homage to say, you know, to the summer and say goodbye and welcome fall in soon. So anyway, I'm gonna do a review on the Bath & Body Works 14.5 ounce or 411 gram three wick candle in suntan. And in my great room here, I like to burn two of the same candle or two candles that are complementary with one another and in both my wine bottle uh, wine bottle holder candle holder and this other one onto the right of course they were both a suntan so um anyway so i just want to let you guys know that on bath and body works on the website it says it's sun drenched flowers and roly blossom and driftwood in canada we do not have the scent descriptions on the bottom we have five languages telling us what bath and how to care for our candles so anyway with that said Personally, I love the smell of suntan lotion. I, I love it. I think it's great. When I burn this, it's more and more and more that I've burned this. And this is about probably my sixth burn uh, on these candles. And I burn them at the same time. It's more and more cologne-like. So it's like a musky, heady female cologne or maybe a lighter cologne for a guy. Um, but that truly is all that I get. It's just just a really musky cologne type scent um but yeah so i just want to let you guys know the burn has been pretty good up till now the one that's in my wine bottle holder and i have switched them around so i don't know i don't know anyway they're both the, the one in the wine bottle holders but in the wine bottle holder from day one the one to the right i've taken out of my owl luminary from last fall of 2014 so it was covered as well but for some strange reason, lately, this one to the right, the suntan here, I'll just zoom you in here. It's such puny wicks. It's just, <laughs> I don't know, like I, the last couple times I burnt this candle, I almost feel like I'm gonna need to take cotton to it and you know, dr you know, take some of that um, wax out. But anyway, um, I guess I'll be holding on to this candle for a little bit longer than normal, but the other candle is doing just fine and yeah doing just fine. I'm sure that one base because of its great burn is going to uh, be done before the one on the right. Would I repurchase this candle again? Probably not. Um, doesn't smell like the suntan lotion I was hoping it would smell like. Um, even the label, um, the one on the right, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. The one on the right here, as you can see, the label is starting to actually peel off. So yeah, that's peeling off a little. Some somewhat simple but cute. Uh, the burn, otherwise, uh, other than the fact that it's got a bit of a puny weak syndrome on the right hand side, but it's been burning fine and even, and um, little to no residue on the sides of the of the glass. So all in all, I'd say the throw on this out of ten is probably about a six. Uh, the burn's been good. Again, this is about the sixth burn that I've I've done here, but. I don't think I'll repurchase this candle at all. Um, I, I'm, I'm done with summer too. This is my last set, like I said before, last set of summer Bath & Body Works candles. I have one other summer type candle going that's a Yankee that once that's done, it's all gonna be also uh, fall. Um, the next candle I'm gonna start burning is gonna be Harvest Gathering because I figured that all my new candles that I've purchased for fall, that's gonna be like the one candle to ring me into the beautiful you know, colors and life of fall or autumn. So you guys, um, I hope you enjoy this review. I know that I'm 
late to the game when it comes to reviewing these candles, but I'm really OCD in the sense that I have to burn a candle from top to bottom. I just can't go and buy a new candle and burn it for just a review really quickly and then put it away and then burn the next one. You know, like I just can't do that. So anyway, I just thought I'd pay homage to uh, the summer being over now that's the last day of August is when I'm filming this and you guys have a great night. Be safe and hey, let's bring in this fall. Take care guys.